Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, September 2nd, and we decided to do a little day trip. Ooh, the light is strong. Hang on. We decided to drive up to Austin, and um, you know what? When I put my sunglasses on, it's they're polarized, and it blanks out the screen, so I can't actually see myself on camera. Okay, I'll just go blind today. Um, we decided to take a day trip up to Austin, do a little shopping, walk around one of their really fabulous outdoor malls called The Domain. It's been a really long time since I've been up there. And there are some stores that they have there that I've heard great things about. They're you know national retailers, they have an online presence. So I thought maybe I'd do a little dressing room try-on video with you guys. So we've put the dogs in daycare for the day so that they're gonna have a nice day while we're out. And this road is very bumpy, so I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll catch up with you when we get to our destination. It is a cool spot. We made it up to the domain and we're parked, I don't know where we are, kind of almost in front of Sephora is basically where we are parked and we're going to go head into the every store. But of course I had to do an outfit shot first so we came across the little street to this AstroTurf area. Michael's looking around. If you're familiar with the domain, that's Joy Restaurant behind me. There's a really cool structure that, I don't know what that is, but it's really cool. Anyway, we're going to hop into Ever Eve. Um, the reason why I took the picture here is because it's in the shade and if you take the picture in direct sunlight in the morning it's never a good shot. So let's go across the way and see what Every Eve has to offer. Okay guys, I'm in my dressing room and you know what? Everyone who works here is also a trained stylist. So instead of me walking around the store saying, I think I want this, this, or this, I let them do their thing. So they, the only thing I picked out was that long blazer. And um, the ladies here have done an amazing job assembling my dressing room. Yes. And we're having a little fun because it's a little quiet in the store today, but I'm so happy that I can yes. film in here because there's no yes. music. So she's, they literally put together outfits. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I put together for you. Okay. This was Melissa's look that she tried on earlier. These are the commando leggings. I know you didn't want to try them on today, but... I might. They're super comfortable. Like, I own these and I love them. Okay. This is the button-down shirt that you can easily put a little sweater on top of That's it. Cute. You can even do this on top of this whole outfit. Yeah. So you can wear this on the bottom, wear it open... And when you come out, you can just cuff the sleeves, pop the collar, and wear this little skirt with it. This is a little bit more of a dressy look. Oh. Otherwise, um, you can wear it with the leggings, too. So this would be a fun look. And I'll grab a little tunic for you to go with that. Thank you. Um, especially with the straight leg denim, you want to make sure that you have more fitted stuff on top. Yeah, that's the tricky part. And a little part. short cardigan. Oh. So these are our Michael Stars basics. This is the green v-neck. It's super comfortable. I love this color. Tuck this in or this out. It's like kind of a light, kind of chunky sweater. You know, I never think about a shorter cardigan. I always yeah. think longer, so this is fun. Yes. See, you got me out of my rut already. Yeah, that's what we, play, that's what we do. We like to get you out of your comfort zone. Um, and then, of course, I have this button down, a little cloth in stone with the um, A. Goldie Riley's. It's a little bit more of like a slimmer leg, but still a straight leg. Very Got a 27 cute. and a 28 for you. And that's your house brand, the, um, yeah. the shirt. Yes, this is Ever Eve. It's our own brand. Um, and this one's a new one. It's longer in the back, too. So yeah, I saw that. That's I like that nice idea. about that. But, yeah, we just started our own brand, so it's really awesome. And I would tuck this one in, too. And yeah. you can also wear this as a shirt jacket on top of this, too. Oh, yes. All right, well, you've done an amazing job. You've done all the work. Thank you. Now That's I just have, have to fun. go so. play dress up. Oh, and then there's Perfect. this. Yes, and this is our Allison Joy jumpsuit. Super flattering. It has a nice waistband. Oops. Yeah. That's okay. If you rub it with like the same fabric. Oh my gosh, it comes look at out. that. Yeah, it's another little trick. That's amazing. Yeah. I didn't know that until I started learning, or working here. So. Okay. Does yeah. that work on everything or just your stuff? It no, it does. Like if, even if you take like a pair of jeans, let's say you got like a deodorant stain mm -hmm. on your shirt, you just I rub the model for you, sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, but I don't look like so you. Good. It's fine. I have Everybody. stuff happening. I have, a, I have a lot going on here, too. Really? I think the swooshing mm -hmm. and doing this. It's concealing. All right, I'll try it on, but yeah. I, there's no guarantees I'm getting on camera or in front of another human being. Nope, that's okay. <laughs> All right, definitely you, a small, maybe a medium. I don't know how that runs. It's our best-selling dress, really? so I definitely yes, think you are. should try it on okay. just for the feel of it, just for the look. Yes. All right, and who makes Is that a Michael's? This is Michael Stars. Yeah. Yes. I used to have a lot of his stuff mm -hmm. way back in the 90s, early 2000s. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off, guys, and I'm gonna start trying stuff on. Awesome. Ooh, that would look cute under. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. You could do on top of this, or I got like another jacket I for you to it. kind of feel better okay. about the dress. My wallet is going so. to leave a little lighter. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm not wearing the right underwear for this. I still think I would wear Spanx. I'm not wearing Spanx, um, and I can see some things happening that I don't love. But I actually I do like this. I don't know if I'm quite ready to like just walk around in this. I think I'd feel a little more comfortable with something over me. But it's not horrible. I'm wearing a size small. Let me throw the blazer over it and I think I'd feel a lot more comfortable. This is it with the this very oversized blazer also in a small. And we changed the shoes. They should look familiar. I have these. They're from Dolce Vita. I have them in the cafe color. And I'm, to be honest, there's so many clothes I'm going to try on, so I don't know about the dress if it's actually going to come home with me, but it's really grown on me. I really like it, but I love this blazer, and I know it's crazy big, oversized, but think about how cute it would look, almost like a dress over leggings with like a big wide belt. All right, this is a Michael Stars piece, very basic, and I never get basics, and you know what? I need a basic. Bra friendly, it's a size small, and then... I'll put the this I'll put it on in the description box. I cannot remember this brand, but this is just a basic slip type skirt and honestly I would have never picked this for myself. I would have never thought I could wear this and I and I like it. I mean, I do like it, but um she also pulled this Allison Joy top to wear um as an option over it almost like a jacket. So let me grab that and I'm wearing a size small in this top and a small in the you know, it's showing the, sh the, sh the tank tucked in uh, small in the skirt as well. And I'm wearing their Dolce Vita shoes. Let me throw the little coat shirt jacket over it. It's really buffs, but I'm going to wear it as a jacket. Okay, here it is with the top on top. It's really a cute pattern. I love this detail uh, where the buttons are. Is that the placket, I think it's called? It's cute. I think it would be cute also just like tied. Very cute. I like it. I like this blouse. I think it's, I'm going to try on those leggings because I want to be able to tell you the difference between commandos and Spanx, and I've never tried commando leggings on, so let's give this a, a try. Okay, every time I walk out to show them the outfit, they're like, oh, but what about this? So I want to show you this. This is their house brand, and it's the blazer and a hoodie built in, and it unzips, so you can wear the blazer without the hoodie insert. It's a little bit of an edgier look, and I would swap the shoes out for like white gym shoes. I think it'd be really cute, or boots, but... I just want to give you this option. There's a lot of options at this store. Okay, I do have a set budget though. I have a set aside $300 and we're going to hit it fast, especially with that long blazer there. That's like $149. That's half my budget. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, I feel like I just did cardio getting into these commandos. These are the commando faux leather leggings. <sighs> Although I will say they're easier to get into than Spanx. I didn't have to sit down and put these on, but man, they suck these in. You guys just saw me in those very form-fitting skirts. You saw the bulges. You saw the cellulite. Look at this. Look at how flat. I'm going to live in these. <laughs> these are amazing. And I feel like sometimes my Spanx roll. Does anybody else have that problem? Um, these are amazing. Now, I would not pair it with this top. This is too short. But this is from Michael Stars, and the neckline's really cute. I don't know if it does anything for me, this color, but it's super soft. Like, I love this. I just don't know about this color on me. It's basically the same color as me. I am oatmeal colored. I know I have a pair of the faux leather Spanx in small, small petite, and I bought the Walmart version. Can I justify another pair? Probably. No, I cannot. But if you're curious, this is what the Commando looks like as compared to the Spanx. And I like the feel of them better. If I had known about these, I think I would have gotten Commandos over the Spanx. So there you go. That's my recommendation. Okay, so same top. And uh, the top's growing on me. I actually walked outside and Michael came with me. Obviously, he's sitting out in a chair doing work on his phone. I was say computer. Anyway, he's like, oh, I like that top on you. But he really liked the jeans. These are the A. Goldie High Waist Riley jeans. Um, I sized up to a 28. These are 100% cotton, so they are going to relax and get looser on me as I wear them. I think a mistake that I have made in the past, most recently with my um, AG jeans, is that I felt, ooh, they're a little snug, and I sized up, 
and then I wore them and then they relaxed and now they're too big. So I need to stop doing that. Um, you gotta look and see what it's made out of, of course. If it's already stretchy, you're probably right and you should size up, but these are not stretchy, but they will relax. But anyway, I like the straight cut. And then these are some Mark Fisher booties. They let me try on to um, complete the look. It's cute. I'm starting to sweat. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. Okay, same jeans, so let's focus on the top. This is another one of those Michael Kors, um, just basic staples. And see how it's bunching up a little here? That means it's too big. So this is a small, I'm gonna try an extra small for sizing and shedding. And then this is, I don't remember the name. I'll put it in the description box. This is the shorter, chunky cardigan, and I never go for short, but this makes the outfit, I think. It makes my legs look a lot longer than they really are, so. I am really pleased and I don't even know how much this costs. I'm wearing it in a small, but I really, really like it. I like this look and another reason why it's fun to let someone else style you, I would have never picked this out, but I love it. Okay, so here's that same top and the extra small and see how I'm wearing it normal. Okay, see how it doesn't bunch anymore and it doesn't pull away. So that fits and I wanna show you the same outfit with the long blazer. Although I'm leaning towards, you know, working within the budget just getting this outfit, not the boots. I have too many similar options, but I'm leaning towards those three pieces is what's coming on with me. But I haven't finished trying on the last three pieces. So let me show you what it looks like though with the blazer on top. Oh, dang it, I really like this too. Okay, my budget will not allow for all of this. Do I go with the statement piece that I'll probably wear one season and never wear again? Or do I go with an everyday basic that I can wear all the time? I think we know the answer. But if I could buy them both, I would. I love this. It's pretty cool. Maybe I'll wait for a sale. I'll wait for the sale. There's gonna be a sale. That's how we're gonna look at this. Okay guys, I've changed into my own pants. By the way, I'll give you the full outfit of the day when I get fully redressed. I don't remember who makes this. I'll put it in the description box. This is the waffle kind of textured top. It does have a hook and eye closure here, but it is like a real, it'll, it'll, it has really closely fitted cuffed lower part of the sleeve, and then it's a pretty little kind of flowy upper part of the arm. Uh, and it also has this lower back, which I think is super cute. Let me get, there we go. And then it has like, you know, this automatic kind of front tuck built in. It's cute, it's really cute. And it does come in other colors as well. And the material is really pretty and it drapes really nice, but I have fallen in love, I'm not gonna lie, with those jeans, with that blazer with the cardigan and I cannot get all three so I kind of make a decision here um and I'm just too tired y'all I can't try this on this is from cloth and stone it's really cute and um there it is the color in this place is terrible I will put a little snippet in the screen of what it looks like on the website because it looks like it's gray and it's actually a beautiful um olive green and I'm sure this is really cute too. This is from Alice and Joy. It is a really flowy, drapey fabric, uh, jumpsuit, but I'm just, I can't, I'm, it's too hot. It's 90 something degrees outside today. It is 90 right now. I just, I don't wanna get in and out of clothes. This, I should have thought of that before I started filming a dressing room trying, but you know, I have a lot of jumpsuits. What's kind of cute about this one is the buttons are hidden. The details on this are really nice. The buttons are hidden. It's a really flowy, drapey fabric. Beautiful. Pockets here. Let's get the back. Oh, look at that. Pockets on the back. And the um, pants are a little subtle cuff there. So I think this is a really work-friendly one. And I think it would look really cute under the blazer that I desperately want to get. Let's see what comes home with me. I'll have to keep watching to find out. It would be nice to show you what I actually started the day in. So this whole outfit from head to toe is White House Black Market, the crochet sweater, the everyday jeans, and the shoes, all from White House Black Market. And here's some details that got me really excited. The crochet sweater has the bra strap snaps. So I love that. And it actually makes the sweater sit oh, like just perfectly. And then, one of the reasons I love this crochet is it's lined. It has a lining built in, so you don't have to worry about wearing a cami or a tank under it, very bra friendly. And then the pants are actually technically considered part of their everyday jean collection, but it feels more like chinos. 
and it has just a normal button zip, but the back is, like you can see, can you see? The back is elastic, so they're super comfortable. Um, I sized up to a six, and now I'm kind of regretting it because they're starting to sag. <laughs> so I probably should have gone with my true size four, but I will say they run a little more snugly than the Pret-a-Porter pant that I had from the summer. And then they, you can cuff them or not. I decided to cuff them. And then the shoes are also White House Black Market. Like, what? I, their shoes are amazing. And they're super comfortable. They run true to size. I'm a six and a half in their shoes. I tried on a bunch. And they all were six and a half sizing. So that is it. All right, I'm going to go add up, cry a little bit, and leave with something. Cry because I can't leave with everything. <laughs> just finished up a really nice lunch at Flower Child, I want to say. Shouldn't have gone for it because now I have a stomach ache, but I got the gluten-free mac and cheese and just basic grilled chicken. The grilled chicken was super good. Apparently it's a very dog-friendly place. Everybody has their dogs. I've seen Dalmatians, German short hair pointer, really cute black lab. Hello, little dog. They're everywhere. Now I'm really missing mine. All right, we're gonna drive around a little bit, see if there's anything super unique that we just have to go look at. And then we're gonna head home. Just a quick little day trip. I fell asleep in the car on the way home from Austin. I woke up as we were pulling into the parking lot behind me. I thought we were, oh, pulling up to the kennel. No, Michael found a pretty brand spanking new, amazing Italian gelato, oop, bumpy, sorry. Italian gelato, they also do cured meats, but their main deal is the gelato, which I did not need to eat, but outstanding. The creamiest gelato I've ever had and they said it's because they don't use cow milk. They use water buffalo milk because it has a higher fat content than cow. I can attest to that. I'm curious to see how it's gonna feel like with dairy stuff, but there is a water buffalo dairy south of San Antonio. And uh, yeah, I don't know how you milk a water buffalo, but I can tell you that the results were delicious. Okay, hello big truck. We're on our way to go pick up the babies. And it's only like 3.20, so not bad. We didn't leave the house till 9. 9.30. 9.30. So it's a nice little round trip. All right, friends, we are home. Dogs have been picked up from the kennel. They had a blast. I am white. This heat is no joke. Let me show you what I ended up buying. Went a little over budget, just a little smidge, but I'm very happy with my selections and I can't wait to wear them, especially because wearing them means that the weather has cooled down. So here's what I got. They packaged this to go so nicely. I'm gonna ruin it, but it's like wrapped in tissue. Okay, so ruined that, but they wrap it really pretty. So I did end up going with the long blazer coat basically the hi rowdy do not lay on my clothes ah nope sorry the michael star um tank and the what's this even called john and jen cardigan i loved the jeans as well i just figured i have similar jeans and they took up such a huge chunk of my budget and i can get a lot of wear with these three pieces. So that's what I went with. It was a hard choice. I wish I could have bought more, but you know, we all have our limits, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this combination vlog, go shopping with me, dressing room try on video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram where you'll see these outfits styled and they'll look pretty, not just some poor lighting in the dressing room kind of stuff. Hope you had a fun time. I'd like to do this more. So let me know if you enjoyed the style of video down in the comments. I am gonna go take my contacts out, put my hair up, get in something even more lightweight, 
and go relax. This heat is sucking the life out of me. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.